Welcome back to the A to Z of networking. It's time for part two of our networking peas. If you don't believe in your business, if you're not passionate about your business, why would anyone else be? The whole idea of building a strong, trusted network is that they support you, that they're there for you. But if they don't feel that you really want that support, if they don't feel it's going to make a difference to you, they're not going to put themselves forward. So you need to envelop yourself in a passion that wraps itself around other people in your network, that becomes infectious, that makes people want to help you. And don't just be passionate about the support that you want for yourself. Be passionate about helping other people in your network too, because if that's infectious, everyone wins. Take responsibility for what happens in your business and in your network and in what you ask for. Don't sit back and wait for things to happen. Be proactive and make them happen. We've already talked about people and getting to know the person behind the name badge in this video. And, and the reverse of that, the opposite of that, is presuming. We presume someone is useful to us or not. Now, don't presume. Get to know people. Find people you have a rapport with. And as you build the relationship, you'll find out how you can help each other. When we talk about presence, it's not about being the centre of attention. But it is about people feeling you're there the whole time. Social media has transformed the way we can stay in touch with our network, staying in sight, in mind. So maintain a constant presence by updating social media sites, by commenting on other people's updates, by emailing people, by phoning them, by going to events. Panglossian means extreme optimism. Of course, I want you to maintain a healthy dose of reality. See the best in people when you first meet them. Give them a chance. The more you do that and avoid the presumptions we've just talked about, the more you'll really start to see people turn up in your network that you hadn't considered before. So that was your second instalment of your networking peas. You could say we've had plenty of them. I hope you found them useful and I hope you're putting them into practice and we'll see you next time for your networking cues. Mm -hmm.